Welcome to a special edition of Modern Wall Street. Today is International Women's Day. Every year, the day celebrates the social, economic, and political achievements of women. And in celebration of today, women in ETFs and five partner organizations have teamed up to ring the bell at over 40 exchanges around the globe. Joining me here at the NASDAQ, we have Deborah Furr, who is the head of Women in ETFs. Deborah, thanks for joining me today. Thank you. Well, today is a special day here at the NASDAQ marketplace. So you've been at other exchanges as uh, we're leading into this month. But first and foremost, can you tell me about some of the milestones you've achieved? As women in ETF, some of the milestones are we're only three years old. Mm -hmm. And so we've seen our membership grow every year. One of the important components of membership for us was to have men involved because men really do need to support the women's initiative. Um, so it's both about women, it's about men, and it's about people from different ethnicity. Mm -hmm. um, so we've seen that we have now chapters in Canada, across Europe, in Asia, and across the U.S. And so we've been doing events that are educational, we've been doing philanthropy, we're also doing university outreach mm -hmm. and mentoring. So the goal of Women in ETFs is really to connect, support, and inspire women and help them really progress their career. And Deborah, when it comes to closing the gender gap, there are still challenges. When we look at executives in the C-suite or even the boardroom, we do notice a disparity. So what do you think organizations as well as corporations can do? Well, I think you find that there, it has to start from the top, right? So it has to be something that trickles down. So really you want, and that's why we want men to embrace mm -hmm. being part of women in ETFs. And so I think what you're seeing is quite often they will set bars. So if you're looking at a man, why don't you also look at a woman? Mm -hmm. Or why can't the woman do the job? Um, making sure that you do have a talent pool of women you can look at. Um, so I think it's asking the questions and making sure that people are looking broadly um, rather than excluding people. Mm -hmm. And Deborah, I understand that in the ETF industry, it is more collaborative than other industries as well as other sectors when you're talking about finance. But why do you think that is? Well, ETFs are kind of unique where to really make them work, it takes a number of different firms working together. So that really does force you to collaborate. So you'll have an asset manager who makes and manages the ETF, but then if someone wants to buy them, they go to a banker broker. Mm -hmm. They're listed on exchanges, sure. um, they use indices, they have a custodian, and so law firms, so all these different firms have to work together to make them work. Mm -hmm. And then the distribution, you know, it's unique in that ETFs are very democratic, so they're used by large institutions, by financial advisors and also in retail. I don't know of any other financial product where you find that happening. Mm -hmm. And so we all have to work together to make sure that everyone understands what they are and how to use them. Mm -hmm. And Deborah, you've mentioned the word collaboration as well as mentorship. And I think those are very key in terms of closing the gender gap. So what steps are women in ETF taking going forward to help close that gap? Yeah, so I think, you know, trying to get more people in by going to the university outreach, mm -hmm. by mentoring, and through our events that we're doing. So we have professional development events. So we've had senior speakers come in recently and speak from uh, Citibank, as an example, and we had this amazing speaker. And even a number of men who were in the audience said, this was great. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I have points that I'd like to take home and share with my wife, or some mm -hmm. said with their children, um, or with... Um, you know, other people that they work with. So I think that people being sincere um, has really helped to further the discussion and it's in a non-confrontational way. So I think that mm -hmm. that's part of what we're trying to do. Okay, Deborah, well, thank you so much for joining me today and thank you for uh, all your insight and good luck with the closing bell today. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Remy Blair reporting from the NASDAQ market site ahead of the closing bell. Have a great evening.